Hi, this is Ed Gregory for PhotosInColor.com and today I'm going to show you how to do an awesome Lightroom edit in just 20 clicks. Theme tune! Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I do love running around my new studio. So, today I'm going to be editing a photograph in Lightroom in just 20 clicks, that's all I'm going to give myself. Now this is part of my 20 for 20, where I'm going to be uploading 20 videos in the next 20 days. So be sure to check back and see my other videos. So let's jump into Lightroom and take a look. So today we're going to be using this photograph here, which was sent in by Ron Asbell. Um, this is the Photos in Colour community. If you want to send me your photograph, then hop over to the Photos in Colour Facebook page, send me a message, and I'll give you the upload link there. Okay, so let's have a look. It was shot, if we look over down here, on a Canon 6D, 19 millimeters, so a super wide angle lens. ISO 100, F22, at 70 seconds, one minute and 10 seconds. So that's how we've got these beautiful long clouds and all the people over here are really blurry. I love this photograph. So let's jump into the develop module and let's have a look. Now remember, I'm only gonna give myself 20 clicks. That starts now. So where am I gonna start with this? I'm actually gonna start off with um, my color temperature. I'm gonna take the eyedropper tool here and I'm gonna find something that I think is neutral, which is over here. This is probably white and it's in the shadows. That's a perfect place. So if we click on this, great. That is now we have found our neutral. So now we have the white balance set. That's one click. Click number two. I'm going to reduce my highlights all the way down to bring back the sky. That's great. Click number three, we're going to lift our shadows up. So now we've really lifted the shadows, which look, makes this look really nice. But notice I haven't gone to the end of these sliders because I don't want to go too far. Click number four, I'm actually gonna lift up my whites just a little bit as well, because it's gonna help bring out these clouds. Now, this looks fantastic. From here, I'm actually gonna skip over the presence module and the tone curve, because I want to play around with the color a little bit before I actually do anything up here. So click number five is gonna be very simple. I know that my blues in my skies, I can actually bring down the luminance to make that pop a little bit. So let's just click around here. That's click number five, and it definitely brought in the clouds. Now for me, I think if we're looking at these yellows here, I think that they're a bit too yellow. I'd like them to have more red in them, and that's gonna make it look like um, dusk, the sun is setting, it's gonna, it's gonna warm the image up. So I'm gonna go to my oranges, and I'm actually gonna click for click number six around here, and I'm gonna bring that back. Now I've gotta be careful here that I don't use up all my clicks. So that looks great. Now this isn't a click, it's my before and after button. So there we go, we've already come a long way. That's the backslash button is what we use to um, look at the before and after. Now we're here, the next thing I want to do, because we can see we've got this bow going on up here, and it's clearly on 11 millimeters, so I'm going to go for a wide angle lens. That's what it shot on, so I'm gonna go for enable profile corrections, click number seven, and hope that Lightroom can find the right lens. And it has done, it, you see it's the 17 to 24 f4, so it's corrected that really nicely. Okay, so now what we're going to do is come back up here, and now what I want to do down here, you can see that the shadows, they're all a little bit boring and plain in the bottom section. So I'm actually going to use split toning, and I'm going to add reds into my shadows. So if I click number eight, I'm going to click all the way up here. Now, that's kind of ruined my image, but what I can use is the balance and I can push it all the way to the highlight end, which is mean it's going to take the reds out of everything apart from the very darks. So as you watch when I slide this up, there we go. You see it's actually going to take the reds back out of it, but it's kept the reds only in the shadows. That's eight clicks. And I think that this is looking really quite fantastic, but we can still do some more things. I think one big thing here in the tone curve, I'm actually gonna lift it all up in the mid-tones just to lighten this up. So let's lift it up for click number 10. Great, 
Now we're looking fantastic and I really like the looks of this image now. Let's just take a quick break from that edit for a moment and let me just say that I have a big launch coming out in 20 days time. So if you want to be the first person to find out about it, go over to photosincolor.com and sign up for my mailing list. Anyway, let's get back into the edit. Click number 11 is I, I need to do a, a, a crop on this. So we're going to open up the crop tool. Oof. And then number 12 is going to be actually making the crop. But I'm actually going to unlock this at first. So that's number 12. And then number 13, now I can actually drag this around. And I, I did that so that I give myself a bit of a chance. Now I want to crop the top corner. There's that pole in the top corner there. So I'm actually going to crop that out. But I want to leave enough of the floor going on. So that we, because that's where the drama is. But rule of thirds here, if you look, I'm going to put the horizon on that bottom third, which I think works perfectly. So we'll let go at that and we'll come back out of the crop. That's 14 clicks. I think we're getting somewhere now. Number 15, I'm going to go for vibrance and I'm actually going to lift up the vibrance with this and we're going to see how far I can go. I'm going to go all the way up to 30 on the vibrance. Is that 19? I think that was 19 clicks. I only have one click left. Now, I could have leveled this off, but I'm not going to. Instead, I've got a choice. I need to add a little bit onto this. I could either bring down my darks, boost my contrast, or bring up my clarity. That's what's going to make the blacks a little bit blacker. So in this situation, if I boost my contrast, I'm going to worry about my highlight here, so I'm not going to do that. If I bring down my blacks, that's probably going to be my best option because it's going to make it a little bit darker, but it's going to save everything else. Clarity, the danger I have here is that it might ruin the image, although I think it's really going to help these guys here. So in fact, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go for clarity, and I'm only going to lift it about eight. No, I'm going to go all the way up to 12, actually. Okay. That's my 20 clicks. Let's look at the before and let's look at the after. A huge, huge difference there. So that there is how I did this amazing edit in just 20 clicks inside Lightroom. It shows the power of this program. It really is amazing. Now, remember to hop over to photosincolor.com and sign up to my mailing list. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. This was Ed Gregory for Photos in Color dot com.